In rural areas throughout Ghana, poverty and the lack of education and unemployment is high. Girls bear the worst of this and rarely have the opportunity to move on to higher education. Oh, how many years? Eight years. Now, where are the bedroom? Yes. Do you then know? The parents, if they can scrape together the money, choose instead to send their sons on to higher education. The girls will mostly end up in either menial jobs or as teenage mothers, or worse, locking them into the same cycle of poverty. The girls, they work a lot in the house. That is how our Afri the African setting is. The girls should have more opportunity because uh, there's a saying that if you train a girl, you train a whole community. If you train a man, you train an individual. Do these young girls have ambitions? Do they want to have careers? Yes. Yes, they have dreams. For now, I won't call them ambitions, but they have dreams. They have big dreams. In future, I want to be a journalist. Teacher in the front. I want to sing. A medical doctor. An accountant. Teacher. I want to be a nurse. News reader. Minister of Parliament. I want to be nurse in future. Thank you. Volunteer Partnerships for West Africa is helping to make their ambitions a reality and has pledged to provide access to training with the building of a youth training centre in the rural village of Domang. The youth training centre will give the girls the ability to learn valuable skills, providing them with the ability to earn a better living. Central to the development of the centre will be the Computer Technology Hub. Volunteer Partnerships for West Africa recognises that these girls have to be given the tools to not only develop marketable trades, but the skills to run their business and, more crucially, access to the internet and the knowledge and opportunity that this can create. If you are a farmer, it can help you to advertise your products and also, uh, if you are a student, it can help you to get access to the internet. Volunteer partnerships for West Africa's hard work and commitment will help give these girls the knowledge and training to improve their lives, thus helping to change the cycle of poverty, which is so often the only path open to them.